Good morning, y'all. I haven't even fully woken up yet, but I just felt the urge just to make a little recording um, because of the state and climate that we're in right now. I firmly believe that we need to get back down and get on our knees and start praying. Um, It's a lot of things going on in the world right now. And it's evidence that God isn't happy. It's evidence that he is speaking to us loud and clear, but we are not listening. Um, With everything that's going on, with the virus, with um, the... uh, Excuse me, my last time still kind of waking up with the police brutality... Um, it's just a lot of stuff going on. We would think that by now, things would be different. But things are pretty much the same, if not getting worse. And it's like, how can we are in this place where things are going backwards instead of forward? And it's saddening that here it is, 2020, that a black man can't even walk down the street and get murdered. Yeah, there's, you know, crime um, in the different communities, you know, black-on-black crime, white-on-white crime, in different communities around the world. But when the crime takes place against someone that is supposed to serve and protect then how can that be? How can you serve and protect, but you're kneeling on somebody's neck saying, and the person is saying, I can't breathe? And that alone should tell you, okay, maybe I should ease back. That doesn't mean stop doing your job, but that means let me ease back. Because if someone says they cannot breathe, they cannot breathe. And that point blank is very significant. It's significant in the fact that we as black people are still being looked at as as beneath, um, as nothing. And and it's heartbreaking and saddening that, that it's occurring because something has to give. Um, The protesting, the rioting, the looting, um, it has a little bit of effect, but it doesn't have full effect. What needs to start happening is people that's higher up need to start changing legislation. Um, A lot of things that is placed is outdated. Like, to be honest and truthfully, the Constitution was never built on any other race but the white race. Um, it's a lot of things that has been placed systematically in the United States culture that is long overdue to be rectified, to be changed, uh, to be revised. You know, we as have to do better as a people because one, we cannot ask for other people to respect us if we cannot respect ourselves. That's first and foremost. We have to definitely get on that ground of respecting ourselves. But I just wanted to take the time right now and just pray. Um, we need more prayer. Um, God is speaking loud. Some have way, somehow down the line. Um, God and Jesus has been taken out of the equation of a lot of things. And they need to be put back into the equation. Like some people would agree with me, some people would disagree with me, but personally, I don't care because I know the true power of the living God. Um, because I wouldn't be standing here today with a message of hope, love, inspiration if it wasn't for Him. Um, so I just want to do a little prayer. Um, Father God, in the name of Jesus, I ask that you, God, to come and rectify, come and heal, Father God. 
Father God, we are not listening to your word. We are not listening to you being being loud and clear right now, Father God. Father God, I pray that you just come and heal us. We are broken, Father God. We are broken to the core, Father God. Father God, I ask in your powerful name of in Jesus that you just come, Father God. Come and heal us, Father God. Father God, there is so much going on right now, so much devastation, Father God, that we need something that is more powerful than anything that one can imagine, Father God. Father God, we need your grace. We need your mercy. We need your love, Father God. We need a message of hope, love, and inspiration, Father God. Father God, what is taking place right now is inhumane. It is unjust, Father God. We need a change, Father God. And I come to you on your throne saying, Father God, we need you. I pray that one day that everybody can live as free people. Father God, Father God, I pray that your will be done, Father God. I pray for all the families who have lost a loved one during this time, Father God, whether it be through violence, whether it be through sickness or disease, Father God. Father God, I just ask for healing and comfort in Father God. Father God, you are the King of kings, the Lord of lords. You are Alpha, Alpha, Omega, Alpha, Omega, Father God. You sit on the throne, Father God. At the end of the day, Father God, every name will bow at the name of Jesus. Because you are holy. You are righteous, Father God. There's no one like you. There's no one greater, Father God. So, Father God, I just ask in your holy name that you heal us, Father God. Because people are angry. People are mad. And we're just looking for ways to finally have justice. To finally be free. To finally be able to look at as equal. Because even your son, Jesus, was persecuted on the cross because people did not know who he was. People did not understand and agree with what he has was sent to do, Father God. Father God, there is some good out there in the world, but there is definitely evil, Father God. And the devil is making a playground and making a fool. Father God, so I just pray that we can unite and stand as one nation under God. Father God, I say thank you. I thank you for your love. I thank you for your grace. I thank you for your mercy. I thank you for who you are. I thank you for sending your son Jesus to rectify our sins, Father God. Father God, forgive us for our sins. Because sometimes we know not what we do. But that is why you have given us mercy and have given us grace so that we can come to you in repentance for our sins. And right now, Father God, I just pray for forgiveness, forgiveness for the people. Because sometimes when we're hurting, when we're struggling, we don't know what we're doing. We're letting, allowing the devil to come in and use us. But Father God, I just speak life and power, and peace and love. I just say thank you, Father God. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen.